Yeah. Uh, I've got so I've got one one sort of last question for you, okay. which is sort of like a wrap up, I guess, of everything we've touched on. Mm. Uh, so you know, we're talking about reviewing goals and reflecting, you know, in a really in a really sort of authentic and a valuable, impactful way. And we know that change is constant. We've touched on VUCA, but we know that change is even more constant, you know, now. If you had one one tip, you know, to help people review their goals effectively and reflect, you know, authentically, what would that I mean that might not be unfair saying one, but can you go <laughs> for one? You can have a couple more if you'd like. <laughs> People keep coming on here and asking me for one or three or to sum things up in 60 seconds. I find it so hard. You can have two. You can have a couple if you like. No, I, I, so, I mean, we've talked, we've talked a lot about processes and structure, but I think the one tip is you have to be totally honest. You have to be, none of this will work. So the, the, you can put all of the processes in place you can put something in your diary to sit down every week. You can have a fancy planner and a diary with, you know, you can all the pictures and everything else. But if you're not honest with yourself and you don't acknowledge what has worked and what hasn't worked and why it hasn't worked, what was the factor of the success or the, the, the not success or failure, whichever way you want to look at it, you're not going to move you're not going to move on you're just going to keep repeating it because if you're going to put the blame elsewhere and you're going to say well that's because somebody else did that or that's because this happened um if you're going to make excuses you're not going to move on so i think my one tip is you've got to put your ego aside you've got to put some pride aside and you've got to sit down and be really honest and just say that didn't work because I did this. And I think even though other people or other things may have played a part in it, if you were there, you had an influence. You played a part in it somehow. And so you have to look at what part you played and where that had influence or whether that controlled what happened. But if, you know, there's no point in sitting down and holding on to ego and pride and and putting the blame elsewhere you've got to sit down and have an honest honest conversation with yourself to be able to move forward so that would be my one tip i think that's a really good one i think that's brilliant and i and i guess there's something in my mind i was thinking about the sort of power is in the honesty mm. um also um being honest you know with yourself or getting really honest feedback from other people that you know want to help yeah. you um there's something quite liberating about that yeah as well so yeah you know real power the real power is in the honesty i guess <laughs>